Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a few things involving the current situation in the Ninjago community involving leaks and early set images being out there and everything in between. Now, with that being said, a couple of quick disclaimers before we get started regarding all of my thoughts on a few very important topics. I will not be showing any images in today's video and I will not be sharing any links in today's video. More on that here momentarily. And in terms of where I am seeing all of these leaks, well, I see a lot of them over on Instagram. All you need to do is literally go on Instagram and search for Ninjago leaks and you will find a plethora of accounts dedicated to posting and reposting and reposting various Ninjago leaks out there. Like I said, I will not be sharing any links in today's video. More on that here momentarily. So what exactly is this video about? Well, we do have some leaks to discuss a little bit later. Just want to give my quick two cents on some recent stuff that was leaked, again, without showing anything. But essentially, I would just like to talk about the current situation and the current discussions being had in the Ninjago community involving all of these season three leaks. So in terms of this channel right here, I have been covering what I can involving the Dragons Rising Season 3 leaks. However, as I'm sure you guys are aware, my channel was recently hit by a copyright strike from the official LEGO group themselves for images that I had in the thumbnail of one of my recent uploads. Now, with that being said, I did not show any images in the video, just the thumbnail, because previously, over the last five years or so, that's how I have been discussing Ninjago leaks. I have very rarely shown actual leaks in the videos themselves, but always in the thumbnails because the thumbnails were always okay, right? Well, not this year. Apparently Lego has changed their mind. And once again, they have placed a copyright strike on my channel, even though there are many, many accounts, like I said, strictly dedicated to posting Ninjago leaks. There are even several YouTube channels that have the leaked images not just in the thumbnails but also in the videos themselves those videos are still up mine are not and i'd be lying if i said i was happy here i feel like the situation is extremely unfair uh, not to mention this reminds me a lot of why i stopped posting videos containing ninjago footage because lego used to be, and apparently they still are, extremely trigger happy with the copyright takedowns. Several videos of mine that I made in the past have been taken down for footage or copyright claimed. Even some copyright strikes have been issued on videos that completely fell under fair use. Like I said, Lego has always been very trigger happy with these copyright takedowns. It's one of my biggest critiques regarding the Lego group's existence here on YouTube. Like I said, it's very inconsistent and I now feel like my channel has a target on its back thanks to the lego group and their super trigger happy copyright takedowns you know despite there being several other videos and the actual people that leak this material still being up they can leak it other people can post about it but i can't talk about it and as such i don't know if you guys have noticed but some of the ways i've been handling recent leaks haven't really been traditional for this channel for example i am no longer sharing links because i feel like that's going to be the next thing that's going to be an issue part of me is also scared to talk about leaks at all despite that being a pretty big part of what i do involving discussions on this very channel now all of a sudden it doesn't seem like it's okay then again i'm also thinking well if i don't show anything and i'm just giving my thoughts on what i see elsewhere not on youtube well then technically lego does not own that because those are my thoughts what are they going to do copyright strike me for my personal thoughts they don't own my thoughts you get what i'm saying it's a very confusing situation and it has not been fun to deal with these past couple of days it's been very stressful i feel like i'm walking on eggshells trying to run my youtube channel and that's not what it should be so from here on out you know just for my own personal safety there will not be any links posted nor images posted regarding Lego leaks, at least for the time being. I know that's going to be disappointing to hear, but I'm trying to do my best to keep this channel running. Like I said, there are several Instagram accounts talking about leaks. You can go check those out. Otherwise, here you will not see any links nor pictures. Now, in addition to me not really feeling the most comfortable talking about Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 3 set leaks on this channel, it is worth mentioning that the current state of Ninjago leaks in this community is very 
weird, for lack of a better term. For example, right now, the leakers are at war, it seems. There is a lot of drama surrounding Ninjago leakers. From what I can tell, there are a few groups of leakers out there, and they are desperately trying to release leaks first, just so they can watermark them, talking smack about the other leakers in the community. It's basically a race of who can insult who first, while also showing us extremely blurry and low-quality images of a lot of these sets. And that's another thing, too. You you know, forget the petty leaker drama for a second. It's very strange how low quality a lot of these leaks are. It's almost like, you know, what's the point of even leaking them in the first place if you can't even tell what's going on? And that's also another reason why I have been kind of reluctant to talk about a lot of these leaks, because for a lot of them, it's like, oh, look at this collection of pixels. How does it compare to the other collections of pixels? It doesn't really make much sense for me to even talk about them if they are so low quality, I can't even tell what's going on. Like, for example, recently we got ourselves a new look at the Arc Dragon of Focus set. It looks to be a two-headed dragon with, you know, beige and purple coloring like we saw in the listings, but aside from that, I mean, what else is there to talk about? We don't have final images of this set just yet, so how can I even begin to give my opinion on it? Same deal with the box art that was just leaked for the Season 3 sets. Sure, it has Zane and the Arc Dragon of Focus, like we heard prior, like the listings had told us before, except now we have an image. Hooray, it's very low quality and very hard to make out. And what do you know, it has multiple watermarks on it, insulting other leakers in the community. I just don't, <laughs> I just don't see what the point is, you know? I mean, from what I can see, the pictures look kind of cool, I guess, you know? But I'm saving a lot of my judgment for when I actually see these things in high quality because I feel like that's the only way I can properly judge these things. At the end of the day, guys, there is a lot going on in terms of Ninjago leaks at the moment, and a lot of what's going on is not fun to deal with, whether it be trying to navigate beyond copyright takedowns from LEGO or dealing with super fuzzy, blurry leaks that you can't even make out. It's almost like, you know, maybe we shouldn't have leaks. I would be okay with that. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't leak things. I just talk about what gets leaked and it is entirely out of my control. I'm just not too thrilled regarding the current state of leaking in the Ninjago community. So with that being said, I think that'll just about do it for my thoughts here. Just wanted to ramble for a little bit about, you know, just stuff that's on my mind. I was trying to be super transparent, super honest in today's video. So hopefully you guys understand what's going on right now in terms of leaks and everything in between. Leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.